Hello and welcome. Today is two days post-operatively of having a eye surgery, which is called lower blepharoplasty, and a mid-face lift with a neck lift. So I've got all my bandages. I'm going to take them off and show you what's going on. Um, I am taking prednisone for five days to help with bruising. I'm taking an antibiotic for five days to uh, so you won't get any um, issues with uh, infection. And I am taking a mild codone uh, with acetaminophen, which is called Percocet, and I only take about one fourth of that. I'm in no pain today. So again, this is two days post-operative of a lower eye lift uh, where they removed the bags. I had some bags under my eyes and I had some sagging under my neck which was called banding and in order to get rid of banding under your neck they have to do a facelift and a neck lift to correct that. So let's see what else I have. I have a little note here. Um, so anyways let me go ahead and remove this Velcro strap. I've been wearing this for three days. This is just a Velcro, Velcro stretchy. Um, I think it's called a bear hugger. So I'm going to remove this and I'm going to show you what's going on. And I haven't even seen myself what's going on uh, where the facelift uh, sutures are. So I'm going to take this off. Pull that, takes this down, wrap it, okay, well you can, you can, now tomorrow I'm going to get new bandages and I'm going to have them replaced, but I've been wearing this for three days and this is the first time I've taken it off. So I'm going to show you here my sutures, now this won't come off, this is sticky, uh, this is held real tight to hold the neck. So let me put a mirror here. Let me show you my eyes up real close. So these are stitches right here. And I had bags under my eyes that were just puffy all the time. And you can see the stitches right there. There's no pain at all. Um, now the first two days, uh, the, the, the day of surgery, about six hours later, and the next day, I was in pain. So I had to get uh, some oxycodone to help break that pain because I couldn't sleep. Let me get this mirror here and see if we can look at the uh, sutures on the side of my ears. See if this will help. There we go. So you can see the sutures are coming down here and they go back behind the ear. Now I'm not going to touch it because I don't want to cross contaminate it with any germs. So if I come off of the oxycodone, I will feel pain. So now I'm going to switch to the other side. Let's go back in the back. You can see the back. Let's see this side. It's hard to see because of my hair. Let me fix my hair a little bit. Now I'm not too swollen. Again, this is only two days after a facelift. Can you see those sutures? And they do go behind the ear. But again, I don't want to touch it. So my main reason was, I had again, I had puffy eyelids that were always getting worse. And... I had these little banding, like a little saggy under the neck, sag, and it had two bands. 
in order to get rid of that, you have to do a facelift. So that's, that's what it'll look like. There's definitely some bruising, but it's not too bad. Let me see if I can see what I'm Oh, here we go. It looks like some of the stitches go back to here. You can see the stitches going back here for the neck lift. And then tomorrow will be three days after cosmetic facelift and neck lift. And then he's going to clean me up and put on new bandages. So I'm going to say the first 24 hours... Uh, yeah, you feel the pain. You definitely need some pain relievers, and Tylenol was not cutting it. So as soon as I um, took the codone uh, with the acetaminophen, that's called Percocet, my um, pain went away immediately, and uh, that worked well. So that's all for now. So tomorrow, I'll go to the doctor and have this cleaned up. And we will see if I can do another video tomorrow. I don't know if I'll be able to take off the bandages or not. But this is real tight, holding my neck. And yes, I've got to wear... These sutures will stay in for three weeks. I'll have the sutures here for three weeks, back here, and here for three weeks. And then for eight weeks, I'll have to wear... Uh, a bandage that goes around my head that velcros whenever I'm at home and whatever whenever I'm asleep I'll have to wear that for eight weeks now I can go out in public but as soon as I come back home I need you need to wear that I need to wear that to hold everything very tight so it uh, won't come loose so anyways uh, there are other videos I've done uh, I, I did a video six hours post-op and then 24 hours post-op. So what I'll do, I will link another video or two videos at the end of this video so you can see my journey of healing through a facelift, which is, which is called a ritidectomy, um, lower eyelids, which is called a blipoplasty, and then a neck lift is called a platissimoplasty. So I'm going to link some videos for you. There's that. Okay, and uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy my journey. Uh, please like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.